All right. Please, I, I need your help here. They say, you're doing okay, huh? Okay. Tell him this socket fits over one of these four little bolts, and he's going to push this trigger to make it go round and round. Okay. And what I want him to do is watch the screen, and when it turns green, he's effectively done his job. Mm. All right, so I'll get out of the way, and so everybody can watch the machine work here. All right, now his top number. He has done, it says 12.5 Newton meters, measurement of force. Mm -hmm. There's a tolerance that Marcus and Neche puts on every bolt as the engineer. His second number is 7 DEG, and that stands for degree. What this is measuring, okay, is rotations of the bolt as it went down. Once it reaches the bottom, then you think about a circle. There are 360 degrees in a circle. Let's assume zero point is right here. What that's saying is he went seven degrees past zero point, mm -hmm. okay, on that particular bolt. Follow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's do another one. See how consistent he is. Uh, yeah. Now, this machine is not only doing the work, but it's recording the torque of every individual bolt, and that will go to the dealer with the machine so they can see all the machines that are Tied to the serial number, tied to the wrench. That's worker, right, tied correct. Tied to the wrench. Correct. So there's a defect. They can trace it trace back to every machine that could have possibly happened to fix it before it becomes a problem. Absolutely. Those, those Your, machines are recalibrated regularly to, yes, to check are. it. Actually, when we got to high torques, I'm going back a number of times, uh, you can't register as, as accurately. We used to use a torque turn. Okay. You know what that is. Yeah, I'll, absolutely. I'll further. Yeah. That's the only way we can get it real accurate. Okay. Now, we but still are using what's called visual, okay, scribing lines and things like that. So if you scribe a line before you torque the bolt, that's a visual tool, and the chance are when you torque the bolt, then the lines are not going to line up, right? Sure. So the visual factory management tool, as far as marking torque. Okay. Okay. So he did very good. Let's give him a hand. He was pretty darn consistent. Okay. One second here. He's going to do another one, and he's going to do a bigger bolt this time. Okay. And I'm not doing this to waste time, but I'm not done talking about it. So application number two bolt, please. Okay. What's this gentleman's name? This is Wayne. Wayne. American name Wayne. Wayne. Okay, thank you. All right, go ahead, Wayne. Make me some money. Go ahead, Wayne. Make us some money. Go to work, Wayne. Let's go. It's a trick question. <laughs> It just worked for you, uh, Wayne. Come on, Wayne. Make me some <laughs> You can stop, Wayne. We're, we're having fun with you, Wayne. The machine will not work for a reason. Yeah. Dean is having fun with you, Wayne. Look what I'm holding. Wayne's first socket. Mm -hmm. If two sockets are off of limit switches, the machine will do nothing because it doesn't know what to do right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to set this one in its proper location, okay, and Wayne will be able to torque his bolt now. Go ahead. Go ahead, number two. Now, please note, Wayne's number is much bigger now, because Wayne's second bolt that he just did was bigger than his first bolts. So the machine just recognized the difference in size of the bolts. Did you have fun? <laughs> <laughs> uh, International symbol, knuckles. Okay? Yeah. Now, for coming up here, I'd like to give you a reward. Okay? Wow. So, here is paint measure from Caterpillar. Okay? All Thank right. You. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Now, the last one. And i got to get you guys going. This one is going to talk about leak detection. So, 
we're going to try to prevent any kind of a leak from happening on a machine. So we've implemented three things at Caterpillar that help early hour reliability, and that is number one, we're testing.